is up my fellow Rogamons? Welcome back to the channel. And today as the title suggests, we got the brand new Glaceon V-Star box. Let's jump right into it and not waste any more time. And woo, look at this, man. I will admit, even with these lackluster hits I've been getting lately out of these new products, they look great. This box is really awesome. This Glaceon V-Star promo, you know? The V-Stars have grown on me a little bit. I'm not saying they're my favorite. I don't even really know what the mechanic really does. I haven't looked into it that hard, but this V-Star product is actually really good. It's um six packs. Let's flip it to the back. You can see it real quick. Right there. It's one promo card, one etched promo card, which is the V-Star card, of course, and a giant V-Star card as well. One acrylic V-Star marker, five packs and this was like 30 bucks i think so which is normal five packs plus the promos they usually have five bucks for that and the code card which i'll give you the code card for this one if you guys want a glaceon v star as well i know some people wanted that uh jolteon i just couldn't do it man i needed that for my own deck online i'm sorry but if there's any way i can make it up to you i can get you any other code card you need let's start right off with this giant boy Dude, it looks super sick, and I'm glad they actually made the cards fit in the binder this time. <laughs> like, woo! Yeah, that's looking really nice, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Not that I would ever grade any of these, but yeah, that card is looking pretty sick. Let's bring out the other two. We'll bring, we'll show you the regular one first. Get them out here. Pop them on out. And yeah, there's the Glaceon V. Super sick card, I love it. Not sure how viable it is in the TGCG, but you know, Glaceon is a cool Pokemon. It's definitely an evolution that has uh, grown on me over the years, and I definitely love it. So we'll give it down there. And then the next one, the V Star, which is honestly, I really love this one. Woo! Dude, if we could pull an Altar from Evolving Skies of Glaceon, I would be super happy today. But there is the V Star. Woo! And I don't know how much these go for. Obviously, the prices will go on screen. Probably just five bucks what it's worth. I don't think these, uh, these are pretty easy to find. So if you're looking for these, I hope you actually found one. Cause yeah, I just got mine from GameStop. They had plenty there. Nothing was crazy. There's no new packs. As you know, Brilliant Stars doesn't come out till February 25th. So, you know, I'm trying to figure out what to open till then. And woo, okay. I'm thinking we might get something in this pack. <laughs> hope I didn't show you the code. Or I wasn't gonna show you the code actually. Yeah. There you go. There's the code for the box. Have fun with that. Two of the Fusion Strike, and it's my Lucky Bolton packs, as you know. Two Evolving Skies, and one Chilling Rain. So actually, the pack selection is pretty good. And then I guess I didn't know this was a marker, but it is. It's pretty sick. I kind of like it, the little V-Star marker. But yeah, okay. And I do have another um, little surprise opening at the end, just in case we don't hit any good cards, because you know... If you've been watching lately, my luck has been absolutely atrocious, Rogamons. Probably the longest dry streak of the channel, honestly. So, um, you know, we're gonna try to change it up here. Show you that code card right there. So yeah, we're gonna try to redeem ourselves today, man. I was feeling pretty good about this box, fire. Ooh, it is lightning. And yeah, let's see if we can get a hit right off the bat here. Got the fire resistant gloves. But yeah, how have you guys been doing? Have you been playing the new Legends of Arceus game? Because I have, I have my, definitely have my opinions. I'm not really going to share them now just in case you haven't played that game yet. You know, give it a couple weeks before I do that. But I'm having fun so far. I really like some of the mechanics. I really like um, some of that. I really don't like some of other things. So, you know, hit or miss. You know, maybe I'll give a review on it if you guys want it. And for the final card, hey, it's Aurora V. Don't know if I've ever pulled this one. But, hey, <laughs> we're looking ten times better than last week already. But... Yeah, if you haven't got Arceus um, and you plan on playing it, let me know down below. Just let me know if you're playing it at all. And, you know, give some thoughts of uh, what you think um, without spoiling any spoilers. You know, we don't want those. I will probably delete them off the comment thread if there's any spoilers. But, yeah, other than that, that's super cool. I promise you next week as well. I'm going to try to do it. We're going to go dog. Grass. Um, I'm going to release my top five ways to get Pokemon at retail, which I think it's going to be really well this time because I do believe that some Brilliant Stars um, products and some products going to be released in the future. They talked about maybe Cosmic Eclipse. I, that's still maybe a super rumor. I don't know. But 
yeah, if that comes out, those may definitely get scalped. So, you know, we were here for a while, Pokemon printing, being able to find stuff on shelves pretty easily. I think it's gonna be hard to find stuff in the future, but we'll see, we'll see. And for this one, it's the Thievel, but I think that video coming out this weekend, it will actually be, um, it'll be good, it'll be good. And it should, uh, should do really well, I'm hoping. So, <laughs> you know, if you want me to do more stuff like that in the future too, let me know. I'm gonna go boom like that. And dude, I pull nothing from Evolving Skies, just so you know. Lightning, woo, okay, let's go. And yeah, I, I've had the worst luck with Evolving Skies. Um, let me know down below, should I trade in bulk for an Evolving Skies booster box and open that? Let me know, because I think I am. I just want to pull something momentous, or I don't know the kind of word I'm looking for. Ooh, there's Drowsy of Harry's watching this. Shout out to him. He loves Drowsy, and I think he loves Hypno more, but you know, you got to love the pre-evolutions too. Just weird Pokemon. <laughs> The Ragnarola, the another Kamiya dude. I always say every YouTuber I think who opens this are people Kamiya men. That's another way to collect too. I would say like you know if you can't afford to collect like the super expensive cards, you know just start somewhere. Make a binder full of your favorite artists or something like that. You know it's like really simple to do. So yeah, I guess my thing is I just enjoy certain Pokemon. So luckily I like Volcarona, <laughs> and not many people like Volcarona. So. <laughs> Well, it's not that they don't like Volcarona, it's just that like his cards don't go for a lot. So it's really easy to collect, you know? Maybe when, find a Pokemon you like, you know? If you like Charizard, then you may be out of luck. <laughs> Fire. For the Zard, bro. Hey, at least we're doing good now. But ooh, we're going dry, dude. Um, I don't know if it's just me or if these new boxes, just like the hit rates aren't that great. I have no idea if, or if just my luck has just settled down because Dude, I have not been getting anything out of these boxes, man. My The dry spell is real. I want to open up Hidden Fates just to uh, give myself a little boost of confidence. <laughs> so that's probably going to happen for Vizion. That should definitely happen between now and the 25th before uh, Brilliant Stars open. So yeah, we got one more pack here, man. I've already decided, even if this is a banger pull, I'm going to open up the other thing I have laying on the side just to give us a chance at pulling something awesome. So... You know, even if we get something good here, we're still gonna open up the rest for you. There's that, I hope you can see it. <laughs> I'm making these code cards flimsy these days. We're gonna go big, psychic from you. Damn, lightning again, bro. That is crazy. Oh, and the Kamiya is coming back, man. <laughs> I love that Crocnaw, man. I'm hope hoping they're gonna make a full art, uh, what do you call it, Froligator, that'd be sick. But yeah, have you seen the, the other V-Star uh, Lucario is really cool too because they're releasing the V-Star Lucario and it's coming with a full art, dude. Like these promos, man. I hope Pokemon keeps it up. I want them to come out with more alternate art promos as well. You know, just because those are super sick. It gives you more and a more enticing uh, thing to buy the box for collectors rather than just playing for players, you know. But Pokemon usually does a good balance of collecting and playable cards. So we got the more Peko in on the final. Just a regular... Crabominable V. And if you know me, I freaking hate this Pokemon, dude. <laughs> Such a useless Pokemon, dude. Oh my God. Well, hey man, we got the water types and the electrics out of here. The ice types, I guess. Stuck with the box. I don't even know. I'm putting these behind me, man. The, still the star of the day is the Glaceon V star. But as I said, thank you for sticking this far with me. We're not giving up, man. We're going to get a good pull, I swear. I got the Ultra Ball, and yes, I'm pretty sure, 99% sure that these are the ones that have Cosmic Eclipse in them. I got a bunch of them. I got a bunch for the opening. I'm gonna, I wanna do a whole Pokeball opening of them sometime. But you know, this was a little extra one that I got, you know? So we're gonna open it now. Maybe I should open it on, on here just to prove, you know, I don't want people in the comments. Ah, you didn't open it. You know, that's why I always open my stuff on camera just so no one can say anything you know otherwise you know i just pre-open all these and make it way easier but sometimes you have some people out there and yep what did i say man that cosmic eclipse my favorite pack art you know these have been smushing here a little bit you got the vivid vault which is nice of course you got that rebel trash <laughs> i guess gotta throw rebel trash in there and then the coin the dragonite this one's been floating around everywhere i got like eight million of these coins so yeah, there we go. That's not bad, though. Got the final three packs. And you know what time it is, man. We're going to bring our dog out this time because we are not messing around. 
You know what time it is. It's time for the... It's the Glizzy Rubdown. Woo! That's right. It's time for the Glizzy Rubdown. And we're bringing all the packs down here. Look at them all. Woo! In the arms of the Glizzy. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I can't sing, but yeah, we're gonna open them up. Cosmic Eclipse is definitely going last. Vivid Voltage and then Rebel Trash is going first, man. And it's funny, because I've actually pulled some good stuff out of Rebel Trash, <laughs> even though it is such like, I mean, I guess it's not saying much. There's not much good you can pull out of it, value-wise, I guess. And I'm not sure if there's any playable cards. Lightning, nope. We we're trying to go for the Lightning again, but yeah, let's see, ooh. God damn, how he run around in those, man. <laughs> how he run around with those things. <laughs> to beware, but yeah, I didn't, this is like one set I skipped when I started collecting. And I didn't even start posting videos until uh, Darkness of Blaze, but yeah. I started bagging Sword and Shield, base set, hunting for that Marnie and uh, I think Butterfree and a few other ones. No, Butterfree was Darkness of Blaze. I forget which cards I was hunting for. Maybe I was just having a thrill opening cards. Then I skipped Rebel Trash because it just wasn't that great. Then I got back in Darkness of Blaze, love that, and I've just been opening every set up since then, ever since, ever since I started this YouTube channel. Let's get on the Vivid Voltage. This has to be one of my favorite sets as well. Still have never pulled any good Pikachu out of here, so, you know, I'm hoping my Pikachu, and uh, sorry if you hear something really loud, that's my washing machine going off. You don't hear around the, um, I almost said Rogue Cave, <laughs> from the foot uh, red, but you don't hear in the Rogamon army, dude, we got a multitask, man. We're doing laundry and making videos, bro. <laughs> That's how we do it. Uh, lightning for the Chew. Ooh, okay. Well, maybe we can get a Chew. I don't really know. That'd be super sick. I'm seeing something on the back, but I don't think it's anything too concerning. We would love to pull the Amazing Rare Jirachi. Then I can say I officially pulled every Amazing Rare out of this set. So hopefully that's going to happen. Time to mow. Oh, we did pull an amazing rare though, but the Zacian again, and it's looking like it's the sword Pokemon or Steelix on the end. Oh, nope, Togekiss V, totally wrong. But hey, man, that's the good thing about Vivid Voltage, that double hitter, bro. This one actually looks pretty centered too. Not gonna lie, actually, dude, this, this Zacian's looking really good. Man, let's sleeve that up. Those are definitely cards I'm gonna send to CGC. I'm gonna do some grading and just, you know, I'm trying to wait to see if PSA is going to do something or if Beckett may come back with something. I don't know yet. Maybe CGC. They're getting pretty reputable. Let me know. But I think it might be cool just to have a CGC. <coughs> excuse me. A CGC um, slabs of the uh, amazing rares from Vivid Voltage. I just think those would look super good in the set. And we're on the final Cosmic Eclipse. So far, the Glizzy has come through pretty good. Oh, yes, I got it. This one came on backwards, bro. Let's go. There's the code card for you. Put that off to the side. And we're going to go lightning. No, not lightning. Uh, fighting. Dog. Okay, I almost said dark. Let's see if we can pull something, man. We're going for the reverse slot. We're going for that red Pikachu, man. The reverse slot. This is another one. doesn't matter if you get a green code card in the middle or not. You can definitely pull something good. Woo. Yeah, I gotta figure out a thing. I'm sorry if the cards are a little dark, man. I gotta figure out a better way, a better way to set this up. This winter sun and everything, like this definitely does not help the way my house is aligned. <laughs> the drill burr. We did not get a reverse anything. We got the reverse pit club, <laughs> which is hilarious. And for the final card, woo, just the regular Groudon, but all right, let's review the polls, Rogamon. Let's review the polls. It wasn't too bad. I would say this, uh, this came out as a win. Put these in the back. But yeah, from the box, we got the Zara Aura V, Zorora. I don't know how you say it. Crabominable V. And then from the Pokeball, we got the Togekiss and the Zacian on the same pack. And then from the box, also the promos, the Glaceon promo and the hit of the box, obviously. It's kind of funny. Hey, you don't even have to open up any packs. We just get the hit of the box, the Glaceon V Star. But woo! <laughs> All right, Rogamons. I can't complain about this one. Also, I forgot to mention, shout out to my mom again. She actually uh, snagged these from GameStop for me. So, yo, she's been truly awesome about getting me product and helping me out. So thank you again, Rogan Mom. It's been awesome, guys, and I'll check you next week. Woo! Okay, Rogan Moms, hopefully I helped you out. And whether or not you want to open up your Glaceon D-Star box or not, you can check out my other videos. They're going to be right over there. And I'll check you next week. Peace.
Peace.